Welcome to another video. If we're given that z plus the reciprocal of z is equal to 1, then we're asked to evaluate z to the 2024 plus the reciprocal of z to the 2024. Now, there are about three ways I know to solve this. The first way is to actually find z. You see, you can convert this into a quadratic equation and get z and raise it to 2024, and then find the reciprocal of your answer, and then add the two answers together. That's one option. The second option is to use the whole idea of complex numbers, rewrite it and use Euler's equation, but that means you have to know complex variables or complex analysis but I want it to be as general as possible. So we're not gonna use either of those two, even though we could solve this as a quadratic, but then becomes a lot of work, but not too far. We're just gonna play with the algebra and see where it leads us. That's what we're gonna do. Now, by the time you're done with this video, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Let's get into the video. So this is what we're going to do. We know that we're going to z to the 2024, but we have to start somewhere. So let's start by just squaring and see what happens. Maybe a pattern is going to develop and we might use it to predict the future. That's what scientists do. So we're going to say that z plus 1 over z equals 1. We're going to square and we're going to square. Well, you notice that if you square this, you're going to end up with z squared. Then you multiply this by this, you're going to get 1. Ultimately, you're going to get 1 over z squared plus 2. And the square of 1 is equal to 1. So this tells us that z squared plus 1 over z squared equals, if you subtract 2 from this, you're going to get minus 1. So, z plus 1 over z gave us 1. As soon as you square it, it became minus 1. Something has to tell you that there's something going on, right? <laughs> Only in an imaginary world would the square or the sum of squares end up with a negative. So you must know that your, your answers are complex numbers. And that's why the whole complex variable or way of solving it became an option. So now, remember we're going to 2024. So, maybe this was a fluke. Maybe it doesn't always happen like that. So, let's try one more time. Let's square one more time. So, we're going to square. What do we get? If we square this, we're going to get z to the fourth. And then we're going to multiply again. Well, we'll end up with the same pattern. It's going to be 1 over z to the fourth plus 2 equals the square of this is going to be 1. So we end up with z to the fourth plus 1 over z to the fourth equals subtract 2 from both sides. It's going to be minus 1. So you notice as long as we keep squaring and squaring and squaring, we're going to keep getting negative 1. If we square this again, um, when we square this, what would it become? z to the 8th, it would be minus 1. So you notice that I can actually create a pattern here. We always get minus 1 beginning from, where did we get minus 1 the first time? 2. So we know if we get 2, if we get 4, we get 8, 16, um, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512. Let's continue here. Um, maybe I should write it on top here. So we can say 2024 will be equal to, watch this, will be equal to 
10, 24. Oh, I need 1,000 more, okay? So I could have gone less, but I just want to go forward. So we're going to do 512 plus 512. <clears throat> or do I need more? So I've taken out of 1,000, I have taken out 512. That's 488, okay? I'm going to take... I can't take another 500, so I have to take 256. Uh, I have to take another 128. I have to take 64. Okay, now I need to do all the maths together because I don't want to take too much. So far, this tells me I have 1,984, and I'm going to 2024. So what do I need? That's going to be 30 if I have 84. That's it. Oh, I need 40. Okay, so that's, I need 40 more to get there. How do I make 40 from here? That's going to be 8 and 32. Nice. So it's going to be plus 32 plus 8. So this is the key to the final answer because what we have now is we can say that Z to the 20, 24 plus 1 over Z to the 20, 24 will be equal to z to this times z to this times z to this times z to this times z to this because in each case you'll be getting minus one minus one so how many minus ones do we need it's just one two three four five six seven it's going to be minus one times minus one times minus one times minus one one, two, three, four, five times minus one times minus one. Okay, so we get minus one. So it looks like the answer to this problem is minus one. <laughs> so we got Z to the 20, 24 plus one over Z to the 20, 24 is equal to minus one. Please leave a comment in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.